Uh, we're going to demonstrate the use of a Tono pen today. So this is a Reichart Tono pen. Uh, this is the tip of the pen here. This is the transducer. This is the application uh, button in which we'll depress in order to do some measurement. Uh, on the other end here, we have the uh, LED screen, which is going to measure your pressure in millimeters of mercury. Very important, this down here, uh, it will uh, uh, average three of your measurements uh, and then give you your standard deviation. If it's going to be greater than 20, you're going to have to redo it. Uh, preferably, you want it uh, down around 5%. Also, you'll see the line that points to the standard deviation. If you don't see any line underneath the number, uh, then it's only one single measurement you're looking at. This is the housing for the battery. Sure, you have to uh, apply the condom to the tonometer. So, now the key with this is, uh, this has a little ridge on it, and it has a ridge on it down here. You don't want it too tight that it's pointing, and you don't want it too uh, loose that it's not on there just a little bit snug. So you just kind of basically hold it there and roll it down. And then we're on, let's see what we got. That is just a snad bit too tug, but uh, just a little bit too tug. You don't really want to see it being pulled up, but for the purpose of moving forward, we won't use another condom. This is just about perfect, but you don't want to see it being pulled on that too much. So. Again, uh, sometimes you're worried about infection. If you're gonna measure both eyes, you would actually do the healthy eye first as opposed to transfer anything over to the eye that's not infected. Okay, so we have our condom on. Now we're gonna calibrate. So two quick clicks should bring it to calibrate. We see calibrate there. And a few seconds here, it should ask us to turn, move up. up we turn it on up and then it says good so it's ready for um, measuring yeah. Okay, so you're going to have your patient positioned. Uh, you can, uh, well, I like to have them seated, seated up so that um, they're not going to pull away. You want them to fixate on an object that's far away. You can use the pick the eye anesthetic of your choice. So if the eye is anesthetized, and then you're going to come in and do your measurements. Okay. In this particular case, you can actually rest your hand on the on the cheek of the person. You're going to come in and you're gonna come in and you're gonna depress right on the cornea. So you're not gonna indent the cornea, it's really just a touch. Okay. So uh, the, the point of this is that you want the tip of the transducer flush with the cornea. Obviously in our model here, her eye is an anesthetized, so um, the pressures that are gonna be measured aren't real. Um, but you really are just touching it flush to the cornea. When you do that, you'll hear a very subtle beep. When you're done, you'll see, uh, right, unfortunately it just went off. There was a pressure here with a mark down here with 5% that showed that you had three readings right there.